the shocking truth about China's new mega bridges. We bring you mighty Chinese bridges whose engineering shocks American scientists to the bone. In today's video, we will be discussing the shocking truth about China's new mega bridges. Americans enjoy their big things, and massive structures are common in the country. When it comes to bridges, the country is home to several renowned structures, including the world-famous Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, California. Engineers, on the other hand, have built huge bridges that have astounded their American counterparts with their bravery and creativity. Humans have been building bridges since the beginning of time. Many consider the Arcadico Bridge, also known as the Kazarma Bridge, to be the world's oldest bridge. This arch bridge was constructed between 1300 and 1190 BCE and, interestingly, is still in use by the locals. This Arcadico Bridge was part of a highway between Tiryns and Epidaurus during the Mycenaean period, which lasted from 1600 to 1100 BCE. Bridge construction, on the other hand, has come a long way since the basic Arcadico Bridge. Bridges' purpose, complexity, and functions have expanded and has their budget. Let us travel to China, where bridge construction has evolved into gigantic and sophisticated architectural wonders that are difficult to match in other areas of the world. The first bridge is the Qishui River Bridge, which spans 350 meters above the water. When the Chinese government planned to boost economic development in the provinces of Sichuan and Guizhou, it became clear that a solid link between the guizhou Jiangjigu and sichuan Zhugu motorways was required. The bridge would span the breadth of the Qishui River and cost a quarter billion dollars. The overall length was just over 2 kilometers. Sichuan Road and Bridge was awarded a 360-degree contract that included the towering bridge's design, production, and construction. They couldn't have picked a worse spot if they tried. The site's twisting, hilly terrain presented a difficult topography challenge. On the Sichuan side, the geological conditions, which included a cliff and a maximum elevation of 350 meters, tested the team's resourcefulness. Working in collapse zones, rocky and karst terrain posed a major risk to the engineers. Sichuan chose a design that called for a double tower and single span suspension for around 1,200 meters of the bridge. The design, however, became much more intricate, and the company claimed it was the most difficult task they had done in decades. The topography made heavy equipment use problematic because it was difficult to develop an access road to the location. The team was forced to determine how to construct the main bridge deck as a truss off site and deliver segments to the gorge, as well as determine how to design a system of 150 cables to support the bridge deck. Sichuan, on the other hand, was able to save days of design work and 19 months of building time because of modern technology. In late 2019, the Qishui River Bridge opened. The company also saved almost $2 million from the budget. This was due to their efforts to minimize the bridge tower foundation by 30% and the quantity of earthwork required. The Green Juice Bridge, the world's first single tower, single span suspension bridge, is the next Chinese wonder bridge. It will greatly reduce travel time between Yuji and Chushuangyi, autonomous prefecture in Yunnan. The Green Juice Bridge connects the 190km Yuchu Expressway to the 9000km Yunnan Highway Network. Yunnan is connected to other major national motorways by the Yuchu Expressway, including the Hangzhou Ruili Expressway and the Guangzhou Kunming Expressway. Apart from the huge scope of these bridges, the speed with which they were built is astounding. This Green Juice Bridge was started in 2019 and finished in just three years, an incredible construction pace. The Green Bridge at 798 meters in length does not hold any length records, but it is an engineering marvel. The bridge is named for Liv Zhejiang, who lives above it. Liv Zhejiang translates to Green Juice River. The bridge protrudes from tunnels that emerge from steep mountain sides on each side of the V-shaped valley. The Green Juice Bridge is the world's first single tower single span suspension bridge, as it is only supported by one tower. Cables hold the ends together. This indicates there are no further columns. This gives the bridge the appearance of defying gravity, and you may wonder what the engineers were thinking when they designed it. This extraordinary bridge also holds the world's steepest tunnel anchorage, inclined at 54 degrees. The primary supporting features, which included the 156-meter tall high tower, the bridge approach on the one side, and the tunnel anchorage on the other end, complicated the design and construction. In fact, the distance between the bridge deck and the assembly is 320 meters, or the height of a 100-story building. The Green Juice Bridge stands out even among the intricate Chinese bridges. On March 9th, engineers slotted in the final steel box girder, marking a significant milestone in the construction. Drivers will be limited to 100 km per hour on the new bridge, which is slated to open in April, but this will only give them more time to appreciate the breathtaking vistas. It appears that if a bridge does not break any records, Chinese engineers will not construct it. 
The Yangbao Shan Bridge is the world's longest bridge, taller than 300 meters, with six lanes. The deck is considerably higher, towering 320 meters over a reservoir and 360 meters above the river's actual level. This six-lane steel truss suspension bridge is China's widest in mountainous areas. The lower leg of the 186.5-meter tall west tower is 110.7 meters below the deck, resulting in a one-of-a-kind suspension bridge on stilts. There are only six other suspension bridges in the world that use tower piers that are taller than 100 meters below deck. And the majority of them are located in China. Sunxie, Qingxue, Hongqing Bridge Jingjian, Dahe, Malinghe Binglin, and the Tiger Leaping Railway are among them. The Yangbao Shan Grand Bridge, which spans 1,112 meters, is part of the Guigang Huangping Highway. It is strategically important to the area's economic development since it reduces the travel time between Guiyang and Huangping from 5 hours to 1.2 hours. It will also assist ethnic minorities in areas such as Quinan and Qingdongnan prefectures. The Guihang Expressway project begins in Guiyang City's Nanming District, continues via Wudang District, Longli County, Guiding County, Fuquan City, and concludes in Huangping County, Southeast Guizhou Prefecture. The Yukai Expressway connects the endpoint. The main span of the bridge is 650 meters long. The two major cables constitute the bridge's main lifeline, and they were created utilizing a revolutionary approach that was first done at the site in all of China. These cables weigh over 4,600 tons and are made up of 36 through-length strands. They use high-strength galvanized steel wires. If all of the individual steel wires utilizing the cables are detached and put together at the ends, the resulting wire will be longer than 26,000 kilometers. This is more than twice the size of the Earth. The wires were built on the spot, eliminating the need to transfer the large components. Engineers stress test the Yangbaoshao Bridge prior of its opening by parking 48 huge laden lorries weighing 1680 tons. The Hong Kong Zhuhao Macau Bridge, or HZMB, is the world's longest sea crossing bridge come tunnel system. It is a gigantic 55 kilometer long bridge connecting Hong Kong, Macau, and Zhuhai. Tourists and visitors traveling from or to Hong Kong had to take a ferry before it was created. The giant bridge was designed by China to connect Hong Kong, Macau, and nine other Chinese cities to form the Greater Bay Area. Around 70 million people live in the zone. The HZMB has reduced the journey time between Zhuhai and Hong Kong from 4 hours to 30 minutes. After nine years of construction, Chinese President Xi Jinping pronounced it completed. To withstand earthquakes and typhoons, the builders utilized over 400,000 tons of steel, the equivalent of 60 Eiffel Towers. The Pearl River Delta Sea is crossed by about 30 kilometers of the bridge's overall length. A 6.7-kilometer portion in the middle disappears into an undersea tunnel that connects two constructed islands to let ships passage. The remaining portions are connecting roads, viaducts, and land tunnels from Zhuhai and Hong Kong to the main bridge. The bridge necessitates ongoing maintenance, and the government anticipates spending over $30 million each year to keep it in pristine condition. The HZMB is amazing, but not everyone can drive on it. To use the bridge, you must first obtain a special permission, which is distributed according to a quota system. Even after obtaining the valuable permit, you must still pay a toll, because the bridge is not approved for public transportation. In addition, the planners did not include a train link. Yet, there are cameras for identifying terrorist threats, as well as special police patrols. In addition, because drivers in China and Hong Kong travel on opposing sides of the road, there are unique merging channels that allow drivers to switch lanes. Officials previously predicted that 9,200 vehicles would traverse the bridge each day, but once new transportation networks were established in the region, they reduced their projection. That's all. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon to get more videos.